Hello, uh, I, I have with us uh, Mr. Ray Freeman from, uh, he's a board member at Warrenville Heights School District in Ohio, and uh, he is also a CUBE uh, steering com committee member. And so thank you so much for coming on uh, Issues in Education. I appreciate you uh, coming on board and uh, talk about some of the issues that are important to you and quite frankly, you know, everybody else. So I know that, um, you know, quality and equity are, are big uh, subjects right now. That's right. And uh, can you just maybe talk a little bit about what equity means to you in your school district? Well, equity in our school district is just the actual um, fairness of every employee that we have. Um, equity was driven from our school just by seeing the uh, disparities in some different um, actual um, job job descriptions. And we had to look at that as a board at Warrensville and make sure that we're keeping it fair across the board. So equity plays a big part in ours because I want every actual employee from the janitor up until the um, assistant principals to feel like, hey, I'm wanted, I feel like I'm appreciated. And that's what we did to make sure in our district, and especially in pub public education, that the equity was shared among all employees. Okay, that, make, that makes a lot of sense. We talk about equality and equity not being the same thing, right? Right. And so it is important for the staff and the faculty to actually Correct. Right, have Correct. some buy-in. Um, I know that a, a lot, you have a you have a big job in front of you, and I think you've done an excellent job. You've got over I appreciate uh, two hundred million dollars in in, in funding. buildings mm -hmm. and funding right, uh, that are going on right now. Right. Sure. So can you tell me a little bit about how you did that? I mean, the the, the funding in public schools is really hard to come by. So I'm, well, I'm really we got, interested. Well, we got we uh, got creative. So what we did, we know that the state um, state of Ohio always has. Um, a, a commission that goes around and look at public education and public schools and see where they're at and they go off a percentage of you know if this building can be saved when they came in our district they looked at only one building out of the five buildings that we occupy could be saved so what we decided to do is apply for the um, Ohio Facilities Construction Commission and we got funded 32 percent from that but wow. among that, what we did, we went actually out and got an um, uh, actual loan, or it's called the COPS, or um, a Certificates of Participation. Okay. So what we do is leverage that upon our actual district, and we did it for 30 years, and we actually got about $40 million. So with um, the COPS deal and with the um, Ohio um, Commission, we um, got enough money, along with, uh, we went out for a levy in our district, and the levy passed, it was like the highest in uh, 2019. Wow, so you really had to go out in the community and meet with them face-to-face -face and sure did. really explain to them uh, what it was all about. Can you maybe give me an example of, a, of one of your uh, conversations with the well, citizens? with the seniors, and we're probably about 60% uh, senior um, adults in our actual area, so we had to go out and we had to go and talk to them, and what, what is it for me? So if I'm an actual 70-year-old, my child has already graduated from your school district, why should my taxes go up? So we said, you know, the levers that your house values would go up, you would actually um, help the, um, the next generation, even if they're not here, they want to help. And they've been in the community over 20, 30 years. So they, they actually heard the message and they went out and voted. And that's how we got the highest vote count is because of the seniors. The seniors came out and supported the school district. Well, that's really uh, missionary of you and them, right? Yeah. They want to invest in their community. So. That's true. And you had mentioned, uh, was it 70% of the buildings uh, were pretty much ready Correct. to be torn down? Or, yeah, we, or had five, uh, we had five buildings, Mr. Lopez, and then uh, out of the five, only one that the actual state of Ohio said, okay, yeah, you could keep that one. But the other four had to go. I mean, we wow. had to do something about them because the ceilings was run down, the restrooms, and it just wasn't a, a place where our children could go and learn because we had other factors that would actually uh, hinder them on their learning. Buildings just get tired. Yeah, they, they, they don't do. last forever. Yeah. Just like uh, every and we're talking about sixty-year-old buildings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, they take a lot of abuse with all the generations. They of do. Children, right? They do. So one of the things uh, that we've talked about, uh, honestly, I don't believe um, uh, uh, you know too much of is, is, is general safety of the children. Correct. Can you uh, talk a little bit about what Warrensville Heights School District, uh, what, are, what are you guys doing for safety of the children? Well, what we did and what's, what's good is that we'll have brand new 21st century buildings. And we wanted to make sure that all of the glass in the buildings was bulletproof, even though I don't think we would have any type of shooting, but if we had something like that, we wanted to make sure all of the buildings are secure. 
Um, in the building that we just completed, our pre-K to fifth grade, we have over 300 cameras in the building and outside the building. So we want to protect and we keep four securities always uh, on staff at that building from 7 a.m. in the morning until 5 p.m. Wow, that's really interesting. So you really have a lot of eyes on, a, on each building at every, any given moment. Correct. So you're not really relying on one individual walking no, around. No, no. So and the good thing tight. about us is that we have and we uh, surround three different communities. So I have communities, not just Warrensville Heights, North Randall and Highland Hill. So we have three different police departments okay. and we have our own staff and we have the, um, the great eye in the sky. So we watch them cameras mm -hmm. constantly. So those constant cameras go 24 hours so a day. It's constant vigilance to protect the children. Correct. And obviously, you want to make sure that you catch anything that might be coming. That's correct. Uh, ahead of time. That's correct. Wow, that's really interesting. Well, um, thank you so much. My name is Alex Lopez with Issues in Education. And uh, Mr. Freeman, I really appreciate your time and uh, hope to see you soon and have a great day. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah.